Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today, what we're probably probably going to be doing is getting a very large piece of rebar, actually, but maybe a couple of them, and we're going to make some fire pokers. So it's a bit of an awkward metal to do it with, because um, I did this off camera, I made about three fire pokers with some square stock, um, not too big, and I put a twist in it, just to add the value. But I think this should look quite good as a fire poker, a bit of a rebar fire poker, and it's already got that sort of twist effect, so hopefully it'll look quite good. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Before we carry on with this video, what I wanted to show you is this. Look at all this metal. Now, the man who got me this, I'm going to call him Jack's dad, because that's all I know him by now. The name of him will probably be uh, probably come up um, on the screen. But, yeah, sorry about that. I don't, I don't know your name. I'll ask you... Um, at some point but yes thank you big big thank you to you um you mate for getting me all this i'm very very grateful it's a lot of metal to work with and a lot of metal that can be worked i'm very grateful for this yes big shout out to him and yes his name will be on the screen not his full name just his first name right, so getting on with the video we have this very long piece of rebar here we're going to first measure it then we're going to cut it up in the power hacksaw. Probably going to cut it in half, which will make a reasonably long fire poker. If it's too long, then we'll just cut it down. But because I am usually a little bit of a... What's going on? Ah, stop it. Usually, a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to making stuff. And when cutting things in half, I like to measure it. If I can actually measure it, which will be nice. So this is about 14 inches long. So let's go with 12 inches. Wait, no, sorry, 41 inches. 41 inches long, so let's go with uh, 20 and a half. Twenty and a half, twenty and a half, twenty and a half. We'll flip the stick it there, stick it there. Put that down, that's good. Get a scribe. Measure again, and twenty and a half is there. Okay, that's our mark. Just there. 20 and a half inches. Quite convenient this whole thing is 41 inches long. For any of those who don't know what 41 inches, it's roughly around 104 centimeters. Just to clarify. So, now, over to the power hacksaw. Move this out of the way. More space for this. Well, please don't tell me I've lost it. Ah, found it, good. Get a marker, where's a marker? Marker, marker, marker. Never mind, can't find a marker, right, so. That up. Stick it in there. If any of you have watched my previous video, I have very briefly introduced this. If you haven't seen it, this is the power hacksaw. It does wondrous things. I like cutting things. That's exactly what we're going to do now. So, if it does that, lock it in. I'll lock it. Push that lever there. Brings it down. Right, that's on. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to oil up. That's oil up. No. Nothing 
gives you a nice length for a fire poker. It's not too long. What we're going to do is we're going to taper it down, at rough, probably this end, and then on this end we're going to curl it round so it's going to be like a curl, and that should give us a nice length for a fire poker. Right, so as usual, just going to taper the tip down. Is it heat? So you're going to go back and fire. I've recently learned um, from watching videos and such that don't beat on cold steel because you'll probably get cracks in it and it won't move as easy and it just won't be as nice. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing in this video is any time it starts losing here, I'm going to put it back in the fire. Just so it's nice and easy to work and I won't get, or hopefully, get the um, best quality out of it. So I just continue taking the dip down. It's nicely tapered down, not too sharp. It's nicely tapered down. Now what we're going to do is uh, probably heat up this side, uh, curl it around. First, I might actually try and just clean that bit up if I can. I'm going to attempt to. If I can, then room. Yes, but just get a white brush. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and sell these um, and I'm going to try and make them as tidy and as neat as nice as possible just so they can have a bit, a bit, have a bit more money it's always nice yeah now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, type that bit up that's some neat now we're going to grab this side um, and try and curl it over. This what I'm going to try and do is just tape it down, not uh, just a little bit, not as much as the other side, just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend this bit round, and then I'm try and um, try and centre the uh, the circle. Just be a bit, a bit of a chore, but let's give it a go. So it's going to be just a little bit of a clean up. And we're going to heat it back up again. Now what we're going to try and do is I'm going to heat, try and heat up a very bit here. I'm going to try and get a bit of a pair of pliers or a small pair of tongs to try and bend it around. So it's more of a circle. Stop the bend further back. A bigger hole. And then we can start to um, get it around so it's a square. So we've got our hole. Now we've got our hole, uh, curve, whatever you want to call it. Hole curve. We're going to clean it up now on this next heat. Then uh, we'll attempt to uh, clean up the rest of it because the point, I don't know if you can see the point, is a lot cleaner than the rest of it. So I'm wondering if that, um, this brushing off really helped. So I'm going to try it. Attempt to just clean up all of this. I'm gonna try and heat up this bit. 
that is very long. Right, so instead of waiting for my metal to cool off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat it up very quickly. I'm going to put it in the uh, put it in the forge, heat it up, uh, not red hot, not red hot. Then get a linseed oil, and that will give it the nice dark grey, uh, sort of well, nice colour, if you like, nice grey, and it will make it last longer. So I'm going to do that. Then wait to cool, wait for it to cool off, or I might just get on to the next thing. See where we go. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but have a look at that fog cloud. I could just see it about there. You can't really see it. Oh, and about there. Oh god, that is nasty stuff. Yes, anyway. It's all into it all up. Yeah. Didn't quite get it so clean on the middle, it's a bit brown. Oh yes, and... The other day we did a hook. Well, a nice looking hook, I think. Nice little into it all up. Nice and straight. Looks quite well. Yeah. Just almost show you that. Yeah. So now we're gonna wait for that to cool off. Then um, we're gonna get on to the next thing. Right, so it is now all cooled off. Nice and comfortable to handle. Um, as you can see, it is a lot nicer. I think not a lot nicer color, nice and dark. And it'll help it. Um, not rust if you like, yeah. have a longer life if you like. Yeah, and I think that's actually a decent fire poker. Right. Quite a nice feel to it. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make one or two, maybe three more. As many as you can. You all know the process I've shown you with this. So I'm probably just going to Probably not talk as much when I'm making the others, and so you can just enjoy the video. Mm. So we've just finished our second one. Got our first one up there, that's the second one down there. Looking quite nice, I think. That linseed oiling though, whoo, that was a challenge. Oh, it does make your eyes hurt. Anyway, we've got two done now. We're going to go on to our third one. Um, yeah. I'm probably looking at the time, I've got to leave here at three. Looking at the time, we've got plenty of time to do quite a few more of these um, fire pokers. So, yeah. Let's get to it. So as you have just seen, we have made our third 
Five poker, another two are up there. <laughs> Latest one is down there. Surprisingly, they all look pretty identical. Didn't think I would be able to do that so easily. Yeah, we've done that. Um, two of those with breaks in about an hour, so I think that's pretty good. We've got. Let's see if you can see. Two hours left until I have to leave, so we've still got time to do plenty. So we've made three fire pokers. I'm thinking of making one or two more before we might pack up or make something else. Yeah, let's get on to it. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm very sorry that I didn't actually film me making the fourth one. Um, because I forgot to press play, so, yeah, sorry, yes, anyway, that's the end of this video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, please like the video if you liked it, um, comment when, if you want me to, or desperately want me to do anything, nothing too hard, please, nothing too hard, I'm only a beginner, um, yeah, comment if you want any machinery going, um, yeah, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any new videos. And I hope you have a good day. And bye-bye.